Hi everyone, Linda Heldman here for Canadian Beats. We are in Nashville, Tennessee. We are. I was gonna say Nashville, Ontario. <laughs> Nashville, Ontario, no. <laughs> yeah, no, We're no. There. Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm very fortunate to meet up with the oh so handsome Aaron Goodman. Right. Welcome, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you. Good You're to be laughing here. at that. Right, well, yeah. <laughs> not, not even my own wife calls me handsome, so. Well, I don't know why. I, yeah, I don't either. Why would you marry you then? I don't know. <laughs> Still trying to figure that one out too, actually. I have to laugh. I've been down here since uh, the wee hours of, of Monday morning, and I've fa found just certain words that come out just have that Tennessee accent. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> when I play this back, it could be interesting. Yeah, it could. I mean, why do you say that like that? So we ran into each other last night at uh, Brett Wilson's uh, Canadian Thanksgiving yeah. event down at uh, the, the Lexus Lounge at Bridgestone Arena. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. It was a great time. It's um, it's, it, I've, I, it's probably the first time I've been to a Canadian Thanksgiving not in Canada. So mm -hmm. it was great. Food was excellent. And um, Brett Kissel was very nice to allow me to come play a song. So it was fun. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. I grabbed some pictures from that. I, mm -hmm. I still haven't looked at them yet. We'll see how they turned out. I hope they're great. And it was great to see Derek Rattan there. Mm -hmm. and uh, Corblund, Daniel, oh, just so good, just incredible. Yeah, we incredible. got good talent up from yeah. from up yonder. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm mm -hmm. It was good. So we're here to talk about a few things. This is our first ever Canadian Beats interview. Yeah, we got a lot to. We have a lot. We have a lot. And you have a new single out mm -hmm. called "Miss Me Yet," which has just started being added to stations up in Canada. Yeah. Um, I know of a few that have added it and I'm hearing it as I have all my presets driving around and it's really good. So I hope Thank that so much. means huge things for you. Uh, before we talk about that, let's get a bit of your background. Sure. You're from a place called Spirit River, Alberta. Spirit River, Alberta. Okay, tell us about growing up there and um, how this, your love for music it's, started. Yeah, it's um. Well, it's kind of a dot on a map. It's not very big. It's, um, we, uh, um, I don't know. I don't even know how many people are from there, but not a lot. And uh, I kind of grew up all over the Peace Country. Like, we, I was born in Spirit River, but we lived in Silver Valley, and then it was Claremont and Sexman. And I spent most of my childhood in Spirit River for the most part. Um, but uh, we used to go, it was a great place to grow up. You know, I played hockey. I played, I was involved in all the sports growing up in, in, uh, um, Northern Alberta, so I got to travel around and do all that. And every Tuesday, my mom would take me to voice and guitar lessons in Grand Prairie. So that was like our little thing that we did. And she pulled me out of school early, so I love that. <laughs> and uh, no, so it was great. You know, it's an awesome place to grow up. And um, you know, my family, we're all like, we're all from the Peace Country, but kind of small towns, kind of all over. And um, so, I mean, I learned about country music at a really early age, and mm -hmm. I loved. Uh, um, I just loved, love country music. My family all plays it, and they played around the campfire all growing up. So that's kind of where I, I learned um, my, uh, my knowledge on country music, and that's all I ever listened to. A lot of people are like, what else do you listen to? I was like, country. <laughs> I was always just listening to country, you know. And it's it's um, it's so awesome now because I'm I'm just now getting to do shows with like people that I bought their record, you know, mm, in nice. the '90s and stuff like that. And I'm able to meet them and. Um, kind of know them artist to artist, which is really cool. So mm -hmm. awesome. That's great. Well, you've been down here for a while now. Mm -hmm. It's been how many years? About seven, I believe. Okay. Seven. So. And what was it like when you first came down? I, it was it was great. I mean, like I love Nashville. Like we, I used to come. I used to take trips, and I used to love that because um, when you don't live here, it's like when you get here, you're like you're it's just like work all mm -hmm. the time, right? So mm -hmm. it's like write songs, like, and. Uh, and, and I'm still kind of like that, like even though I've lived here for seven years, like whenever I'm here and I'm, you know, now home in Nashville, I'm, I tend to work a lot. My wife has to be like, stop working. <laughs> um, but uh, so it's, it, but I loved, I loved coming here. Like Nashville is, is a, it's a great city. It's, it's full of like the best songwriters in the world. And um, so, that, I mean, that's why I'm here. I wanted to learn how to be the best. It's, it's the place to be. Um, I love the, the comments made by Brett and Brett last night at the start of, of the show and how important Nashville 
has been to Canadian artists. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible that that, that um, you know we can come from another country and and you know kind of have this like yeah come on like you know mm -hmm. we're, you can all be here. So it's really it's really cool. And I've had I've had a ton of uh, like a ton of like really supportive people. Like without them, it, you know, I, I definitely wouldn't be where I'm at. So it's um, from here. So it's uh, it's an incredible thing to be able to get to you know tap into the talent that is here and you know, more importantly, become friends and make music together, so it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one of your first big breaks was getting a song on Luke Bryan's uh, That's My Party that was album. A, that was a big one. Mm -hmm. that, that one allowed me to, um, allowed me to stay here, essentially. Like, when I, when I first moved here, I was here for two years. I had, like, literally no job. I'd, I'd, go, I'd go back to, I'd go back to, like, Alberta, Saskatchewan, BC, and I'd play shows in the summertime, and, and um, like mostly like rodeo cabarets and stuff like that where I could kind of make enough money to come back and live for another six to eight months but but times were really tough you know the second year for sure and um, so it was it was uh, interesting about the time I was ready to you know leave mm -hmm. essentially you know um, that Luke cut came in and Cole Swindell text me and said Luke just cut our song and I was like what the heck um, and it literally changed everything because I was able I was able to sign a publishing deal and I was and I I had a publishing deal before that happened fall through about a week earlier oh, no. and so I was like literally like okay I really don't I really have to like go home and you know work construction with dad basically and uh, which I was not very good at um, and I'm still not very good <laughs> um, but uh, but I'm ready to do it but um, so I, I, I was able to sign a publishing deal and I, you know, wrote at Warner Chapel for four years and um, it just allowed me to stay here and keep working, keep mm -hmm. working on what, you know, what I love to do the most. So it's, it, it was a huge, huge turning point for me. So. Mm -hmm. so it was a few years ago, your very first single came out, uh, Knock on Wood, mm -hmm. and it did very well. It hit top 40. That, and that was at the time you toured with... Yeah, was, uh, I went on tour with Johnny, Johnny Reed. Yeah, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was literally around then. Um, Johnny was a huge instrumental part of my career, and um, you know, I'm always very thankful for what you know, for what he saw in me, and also you know, you know, put his put his own reputation on the line for me. And, mm -hmm. um, so that was incredible. Knock on was just a song that. I didn't even know if we were going to record it. We were all just sitting in the room at Warner Canada, and I'd literally just met everybody for, you know, the whole kind of team for the first time. And um, I said, I just feel like playing the song. I love the song. I feel like playing it. So I played it, and uh, Steve Cody, the head of radio promotion, said, that's that's going to be the first single. And I was like, oh. He's like, do you have that recorded? I said, yeah, I do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it was really cool. It was a great first song. Like, it's, it, it's just, I always, I, I call it like a statement song. You know, it's, it's like, um, I wanted everybody to know how long I was at it when I started, like, you know, for my first single. I wanted everybody to know um, kind of what I had to go through to to get to a place where, you know, you have a video on CMT and you have a single on the radio. Mm -hmm. And so I think that song summed that up perfectly. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. And I remember that tour with Johnny. You came out first and it's just you and a guitar. Yeah. Just basic. And mm -hmm. at that point I'm going, Wow. <laughs> I was wowed then, okay. That's there awesome. was you and then there was JJ Shiplett who came on and the both of you. Like Johnny obviously saw in you what a lot of us see now. Yeah. And said, Yeah, you're coming out. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it was a huge part. It, it it like I said, it was huge. It was huge for him to do that for me mm -hmm. and um, I'm I'm thankful every day for it. I I wouldn't I like I said, I wouldn't be here without it. So and there's there's been so many people like Johnny, like that in my career that have come come along, um, and and keep, continue to keep mm -hmm. you know coming along. But he was kind of the first one who, who was like, "You're gonna do this," and and you know, and I was I was like, "Are you sure? Just like me and my guitar?" <laughs> like you know, he's like, "Yeah, no, no, it's great." Like you know, and and that's kind of that's how Warner seen me for the first time. So that's kind of how it all just started. And I, I you know, I, I write songs every day and with a guitar. I'm always singing me and my guitar. Mm -hmm. So. I'm I'm very comfortable doing it, you know. So I think I think that helped a lot in that situation. You know, it wasn't like I learned how to play guitar the year before and <laughs> went up on stage to do it. So 
<laughs> so I'm, I'm glad I put the years of time in, but yeah, so that was awesome. Was now we have to talk about Women in Love. Mm -hmm. I love the video for that. Yes. That's actual footage from your wedding? That's the, that's the wedding, yeah. That's the real it's wedding. It's just, every time I watch it, and I watched it again this morning before I came here, and it's just like, ah. <laughs> Victoria's awesome. beautiful. Yes, you she look is. so handsome, oh, no. all dressed up, no ball just cap. Just decked out, no ball cap. <laughs> if you want to see me without a ball cap. Um, no, that, that was, that, that song, um, you know, that was a, that was a big song for us to have, to come out, have a, like a big kind of top 10 hit with it. Mm -hmm. And it did very well in CMT and, you know, um, I love that song. It's one of my favorite. I love singing it to this day. And it was the first song I ever heard people sing back to me, which mm -hmm. is an amazing thing. So, um, yeah, no, and, and I, I remember we, we had the whole, uh, we had the, uh, the, um, I'm trying to think of what it's called, the um, treatment, that's what I'm thinking of, <laughs> video treatment done, and it was literally like, you know, I was going to play, I was going to be singing, and there was going to be a couple that was getting married, and you know, all this stuff, and Steve Waxon, uh, my publicist at Warner Canada, he said, he kind of just stopped everybody in the meeting and said, um, isn't Aaron getting married in three weeks? Can't we just, you know, can't we just get some of that? And and it was funny because all the guys were like, oh, that's a great idea. And all the girls were like, you might want to ask Aaron's wife-to-be if she wants to, you know, if she's okay with Victoria, like that. Are you cool yeah. with Are you okay? You know, we always joke around because it was like, we, you know, if the, if the video uh, producer would have been like, uh, yeah, um, that was great, Victoria. Could you please just walk down the aisle one more time? <laughs> So we can get that <laughs> properly or something. <laughs> yeah. So, but it wasn't like that. It was like, and that was that was our only thing. She said, she says, no, I love the idea. Let's do it. But let's just let's just get what we get, and that's mm -hmm. it. So, mm -hmm. and, and that's what it is. But one of my favorite part is like, not only is is it our wedding, but like literally all all of my favorite people in the world were there. Mm -hmm. So it's so it's all those people are like near and dear to my heart, and they're in my, in my second music video. It, it was pretty awesome. So it's really cool. And I have to laugh because it was just before. CCMA's last year mm -hmm. and we were I was trying to coordinate an interview with you and it's like I've got so many wedding plans and it's like even though it's Victoria's day yeah <laughs> you were just you just showed up yeah it I was, was like there's just so much going on and then you even arrived to the CCMA's late and it just didn't happen but yeah. I'm so glad we're able to do well this it's now. good we can do it now no absolutely absolutely. Right. absolutely okay we have to talk now about my favorite okay. song of yours okay. okay I'm ready lonely drum yes love it Love the beat, love the lyrics, love everything about it. It was, it's one of those songs, the first time I heard it, I didn't know it was you. Right. And then they said, hey, this is Aaron Goodman. And I'm going, oh my goodness. So every time it comes on and I'm driving, it's just crank. <laughs> and I'm, you know, seat, seat dancing in that's, the car. It's <laughs> awesome. That, that's what it's for. You know, I, one of the coolest things like about that song is, is, um, we we wrote that when we wrote it we were having a blast like it was you know and that that's just what it's for and it's kind of the whole idea just fell out of the sky basically and um, we wrote this other song that was like this kind of like um, like this gut wrenching like eighties hair ballad thing you know, was, <laughs> you know, it was like literally like ah. and um, my my friend Cat Gravit and I wrote with Cat Gravit and Skip Black and, and my my friend Cat said. She goes, I love this song because it just beats on that lonely drum. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what she said. And I was like, what did you say? She's like, it beats on that lonely drum. I was like, I want to write that. And I, so that, so I started into that groove that you hear. It's like the first groove that you hear when it comes on the radio. And, um, and it, it's, it, I literally spit out the whole first line. And we, I think we wrote 45 minutes. It was like done. We did a little demo of it. And um, it, it, we just knew we had it. Mm -hmm. something like really special. My favorite part of that whole song is when, it slides down. It's like, nah, 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 nah. and it's yeah. like it's just like you're taking a little knob and going. <laughs> is that what you're doing? Yeah, literally. That is. It's yeah. exactly like playing, mm -hmm. having played guitar. Yes. It's exactly what it sounded like. I'm going. Mm -hmm. Is he really doing that? Yeah. <laughs> there exactly you go. I we now know. Now you that know is what good. he did. Yeah. I personally did not do that. <laughs> that was Rob McNally. He's a genius guitar player, and I will not take credit for that. But. Oh. Um, but that, yeah, it's literally like he's turning down the knob and bringing it back up again. It's pretty awesome. And the awesome thing about that, it, again, top 10 and recently went certified gold. Yes. It's like, yes. It's 50,000 records. Thank you very much for buying it. I appreciate it. In Canada. In Canada. <laughs>
<laughs> so let's talk a little bit about Miss a little bit about Miss Me Yet. Yes. Okay. Tell me about this one. This is brand well, new. It's yes, brand it's it's on my record. It's it's one of my favorite songs. It's 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 just written. It's probably one of the favorite songs I've ever written. And I, I wrote it with Bart Butler, who's one of my best friends and um he, uh, we, we had a right schedule with Jeffrey Steele. I, Jeffrey I love yeah. Jeffrey. So oh Jeffrey Steele, is a, for those of you who don't know, he's a monster songwriter. You can Wikipedia him and look at all the songs he's written. He's written for everybody. He's written songs for Lots everybody. Lots for Rascal and Flats. So we finally, yeah, Rascal Flats, Montgomery Gentry, Kenny Chesney, just a bunch of people. And um, he, we had a right schedule with him. And um, so Bart and I got together like a week, or like a week before this write, and we're like, we got to figure out what we're gonna write with him because we both want to write with him. And um, Bart's my producer, and you know, we just wanted to write the best song we possibly could. And uh, so we started on this idea called Miss Me Yet, and 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 um, basically we we kind of wrote it with Jeffrey in mind, and he wasn't even there. And then we liked the song so much that we finished it <laughs> before we even wrote with Jeffrey. So, Jeffrey's not on this song, um, but, uh, but no, it's literally, like, we had to finish it. It was just, we, we were on a roll, and it was, it was rocking, and, we, and it, it's, it's a song that, you know, everybody in town wanted, you know, and it just, for whatever reason, it didn't work out, and I'm glad it didn't, you know, I'm glad it's on my record, because it, it really is, like, a, it really is a me song, it's, it's deep, it's, you know, it's, it's what I what I think of country music. I think of songs like this. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, I just can't wait for everybody to hear it. And I, I love singing it every night. I get to belt it out, and I like to belt stuff out. So it's, it's you put awesome. on an impressive show. Thank you very much. I, I like the one line at the end of your your bio where it says, uh, uh, oh, and I don't have it because I don't have it on my phone. But it, you, you're entertaining whether you're playing to right. an intimate crowd or a stadium. Yeah. You know, it's it's you give that same energy. Yes. Which I appreciate that's, that. That's, that's awesome. awesome. That's the true spirit that of sounds an artist like me. and entertainment. That sounds like me. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Are. you are. Whoever wrote that bio is <laughs> genius. <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> She's off camera. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Well. So. I can't say what a pleasure it's been to be able to catch up with you. Oh, finally, awesome. I know, finally, finally. Uh, apologize it took so long, but we really appreciate it. And, and we must, you. we must mention that I'm. I'm just, I thought you were shaking my hand or something. We I'm must sure. mention that you will be in Canada, mm -hmm. 2018. Yes. You are heading out on tour with Mr. Gord Bamford. With Gord Bamford, yeah, mm -hmm. it's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. We got 29 shows to come and play, and um, I wish there was like 60. I wish there was 70. You know, it's. It's one of the, it's one one of the biggest struggles is like you you announce a tour and you go out on tour and then there's people that are in, in a few cities that you, you for whatever reason it doesn't work out you get to play there and they mm -hmm. and they're like upset that we're not coming there we're, I'm gonna come there all right <laughs> it might not be on this tour but I'm gonna come there so it's well it's thing. Gord's always very good at making a stop in Sudbury so oh, I'm awesome. hoping hoping Gord you better make a stop in Sudbury on better this be in tour Sudbury. because we love you. Awesome. And it would give me an opportunity to see you. That'd and be good. And catch up and I whatever. It. I love it. I love Absolutely. It. Thanks so much for this. You're welcome. Anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up? Um, I'm good. Okay. Life's good. All right. Like <laughs> awesome. Aaron Goodwin, please check him out. If you have heard Miss Me Yet and you love it, please request it at radio. Yes. Go watch the, the video do. for it. It's awesome. All righty. Awesome. Aaron Goodfin. Thank you. And I am Lynn Helpin for Canadian Beats.